Hey guys, I'm GML Waffle, and welcome back to the Basic Series, the series that teaches you everything you need to know to get started making your very own Game Maker games. So, in the previous three episodes, we covered movement, pixel perfect collision, and in the last part, we talked a little bit about rotating your player. So, if you had like a top down shooter and you wanted your player to rotate towards the mouse, we talked a little bit about how to do that. But the problem with that was the collision with the walls got really, really messy. You would have the player get stuck, be unable to move, you couldn't go through small gaps. And so today we're going to be talking about how to fix this issue and have a good, perfect, pixel-perfect collision system in a game where you have top-down rotation. Alright, so to get started here, we just have our basic project from before we're going to create a variable and we are going to call it player angle and we're going to set it equal to point direction x y mouse underscore x mouse underscore y so remember we did this pretty much the same before for the rotation except we set our players image angle equal to point direction we don't want to use image angle because basically why you're getting that horrible, horrible collision issue is that when you use image angle, if we just open up our sprite here and go to modify mask, see how the collision checking is set to be a perfect square over our player? Well, when you use image angle to rotate your player, that collision mask rotates along with your player. So that's why you're getting those weird collision issues. So to combat that, instead of actually rotating our image, we are going to draw and go into code. We're going to redraw our sprite and we're going to say draw sprite extended. Our sprite is going to be SPR underscore player. The sub image is going to be zero because we want it to be the first image in our sprite. The X is going to be our X position, our Y position, and the X scale is just going to be 1, Y scale is going to be 1. We don't want to change how big they are. And then in rotation, we're going to say player angle. And then our color is going to be C underscore white. That's just the default, so it draws it normally. And the alpha is going to be 1, so it's at full opacity. And that is all you have to do. So what this is actually going to do is when you add a draw event into anything with a sprite, it's basically going to cancel that sprite out and it won't draw that sprite to the screen. So if we wanted to draw the original sprite, all we would do is say draw self, but we don't want to draw the original sprite. We just want it to be there for background context. So it has that collision mask, but it won't actually draw itself to the screen. That's why we're drawing a new sprite and then setting its rotation equal to the variable we created in the step event called player angle. One thing you do want to make sure you have checked off is inside of your sprite, you want to make sure that it's centered. That way it rotates around the center of your object instead of the top left corner. So if we just go ahead and hit play, you'll notice that we have the same setup of from before. Our player is rotating towards the mouse, but now when we hit the wall, we still have our pixel perfect collision. We can still go through, shoot the gaps, go in, out, but we don't get caught up on the walls. All right, so that's all you have to do to have perfect top-down rotation collision. If you guys liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment what you thought down below, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. As always, I'll see you guys next time.